In a world full of distractions, there is one big question on every dog owner's lips. How do I become more than just the person holding the other end of the leash? We all get dogs with a dream in mind, a vision of the future. And if right now your everyday reality isn't quite that picture you had in mind, you are in the right place. It really doesn't have to be this way. You absolutely can and will be more to your dog than just the person who gets in between them and the world. The key is you need to be more sexy. More sexy than the neighbourhood cats. More sexy than the jogger in the park. More sexy than that half-eaten hamburger they just found on the floor. And yes, even more sexy than the dog across the road. I'm Tom. And I'm Lauren. Together Together we're we're Absolute Dogs. Dogs. And you're listening to the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. Welcome to this very special episode of the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast, the podcast that is for all of you dog owners out there who want to achieve real life results, real life freedom, real life relationships with your dogs. Now, when I grew up and, well, I say grew up, I don't know that I'm grown up right now. When I was growing up, I for sure remember always having a passion, a desire, a burning flame inside me to work with dogs. Now, I remember being probably around seven or eight years old I don't remember being seven or eight years old but I remember playing my nan's garden trying to get border collie blue to jump over um normally uh basically uh brooms and handles and chairs and anything he could jump and he was a neighbor's dog and uh, my nan's neighbor's dogs I I just loved working with dogs I loved playing with him I loved trying to train him I loved trying to get him to do anything at all that might end up in um some sort of um relationship I suppose and I always enjoyed that relationship and I had it in my head Tom that I was going to work with dogs. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is that, you know, we've all, probably everybody listening has got a similar story, whether that was that from a child you were thinking about how you wanted to work with dogs, or maybe actually this passion came to you later in life. You got your first dog or you got a dog that was particularly challenging that kind of opened your eyes to just how cool working with dogs is, you know, reshaping their brains, changing their behavior. And, you know, the gifts that we can give our dogs that they take through their life that actually make their quality of life and quantity of life better at some point this has probably hit you that it's really cool to work with i suppose it's taking that moment to recognize all of us like each and every one of us how dogs have enhanced our our journey in some way so i can think back to the day i brought blink home i can think back to the day i got my first ever border collie puppy and all of those days like those moments and how much they've enhanced our our journeys and actually how special how lucky we are to get to work with dogs in any capacity and all of you guys listening you do also work with dogs whether it be your own dog or whether you're someone works professionally with dogs maybe you're a vet a vet nurse or um maybe maybe you're a groomer or potentially a dog walker it 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 really is every each and every day all of you to some capacity work with dogs even if it's your own dog absolutely and the cool thing the unique thing about working with dogs is that you know there's a science and an art to working with dogs and dog training and so you know that you can think of the art as the the playing the games the 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 actual interacting with dogs and then you can think of the science as actually the geeky dog behavior brain stuff that that we get to learn about um as part of and being part of this community i think the coolest thing that we get to do tom is that we actually do tackle both of that within our community so yeah. we are for me i absolutely love all of it and if i was to pick my absolute favorite part playing the game like I love to play the games I love to do the practical side of what we do I enjoy the training and I enjoy the capacity um, that we get to do it in in the sense Mm. that we get to see people from all over the world and we get to train dogs and get hands on and I love that and I know that you are an absolute fanatic about the geeky stuff yeah and that's it and and how the you know by understanding the geeky stuff and understanding you know actually how dogs learn we can really transform their behavior practically and actively implement or create a plan that transforms a dog uh, transforms a dog's behavior in a dog's life when they're potentially experiencing really serious struggles struggles that are affecting them on a daily basis that is pretty cool now the fact that we get to work with dogs that's you at home listening or maybe you're on your way to work mm-hmm. or um on your on your commute and um, but the cool thing is we get to do this yeah. like we get to do this and there's so many things like oh i've got to i don't know got to walk the dog i've got to feed the dog i've got to train the dog no we no 
no, no, no. To. We get to do this. Yeah. And I think that's the, um, all of us, are, I mean, so many people out there wanting to be more present, wanting to uh, enjoy themselves in nature a bit more, maybe mm-hmm. wanting to uh, give themselves that break, that time out. Your dogs allow you to do this. Yeah. Your dogs allow you to be in nature more. They allow you to take that time out. They give you permission to have that breather. Yeah. Our dogs let us do this. Yeah, absolutely. And so we've got something very exciting for you. And that is that we've got a brand new challenge. Brand and it spanking is new. The 14 day work with dogs challenge. And what we're going to be doing over the course of the two weeks is day by day, we're going to be playing games. We're going to be doing geeky dog behavior knowledge stuff. And we're also going to be looking at actually how we can, you know, fan the flames of our passion even more and how we can maybe actually realize that we are so lucky that we found something that lights us up. Like who, who listening thinks, oh my word, if this was taught at school, I would have been an A-star student because I like to learn about it, right? And that's that's the same for all of us. And I think that we really, really, really um, have a very special opportunity in that. Like, yeah. I really do. I think it's a very special opportunity because mm. so many people don't have that. Exactly. Exactly. Now, get excited because the challenge kicks off next week, which means that you need to, if you're listening to this, you need to head to the link that we're about to say. You need to grab your spot all of the information is on the 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 page that we're going to link to and how you can get to that page is by going to absolutedogs.me forward slash work with dogs that's absolutedogs.me forward slash work with dogs all one all no spaces now so many people at this moment will be like oh no that can't be for me because i'm just a lowly dog person or (laughs) i just like dogs or i'm a dog groomer or i just enjoy my own dog you know what this is for you that is just your thermostat kicking in telling you to not get excited and stay down there and nothing new needs to happen actually acknowledge it's your thermostat kicking in this is your call It's a work with dogs challenge. It's literally insanely valuable in the sense that you get to play this with your dog. You get to understand this. There's super cool coaching in it for you. And ultimately, it really is about having the opportunity to be a little bit more hands on with dogs. Right, Tom? Absolutely. Now, what we're going to be doing over the course of the challenge as well is we are going to be doing um, lives in the the Facebook support group that comes with the um, that comes with the challenge. And every day we're going to be going live. We're going to be talking more geeky dog stuff like potentially how to transform a reactive dog's brain how to work with separation anxiety how to stop struggles like pulling on lead and not coming back when called how about what we do with a naughty but nice dog that we are just tearing our hair out and we don't know where to turn you know what these are the sorts of struggles that we turn into real strengths through the work with dogs challenge and the cool thing is is that basically it's a two-week celebration of all things dog training dog behavior and dogs and everybody kind of going through it together geeking out together celebrating the fact that we found this passion and that we're fully immersing ourselves in it and the cool thing is is that many people you know when we, we we've done this challenge before a similar challenge and um and when people did it some people did it for their own dogs some people did it that didn't even own a dog they just love to learn about dogs some people did it because they actively are looking to make a career change and and this is now the time to do it and others among you did it just because you wanted to come along for the ride and you actively got so much out of it that you saw improvements in your own dog's behavior and even some of you made a a leap to changing your career even though you didn't think you were going to now the cool thing about work um with dogs and and work with dogs challenge um is that actually it really is a two-week challenge so mm-hmm. it's very very achievable yeah. very 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 um basically grabbable and graspable yeah. and you can kind of have your opportunity to indulge in it whilst it's um it's live and it's going and we're in it together yeah. right Tom like it's a special opportunity yeah. and it is so I, I think so many people worry about whether they're able to do something or complete something or whether they're able to make something happen it's two weeks it's just yeah. two weeks of your life it's yeah. not a long time and, and we're talking like very short periods of the day 20 minutes yeah absolutely and you know one thing that's really important to say um about the challenge guys is on 
doesn't like, you know, other challenges that we've done, like the sexier than a squirrel challenge. This challenge we only do we're only doing once this year, and we're all doing we're all committing to doing it for two weeks together, and um, and you will not be able to do it after the the two weeks. So really important. It's a you... very special window. It's a very um, you you really are. We don't want to put any pressure on here, and we also don't want you to miss yeah. it. So it's really like if you do want to do this, you got your two week calling. Yeah right now and so all you've got to do is head to absolutedogs.me that's absolutedogs.me forward slash work with dogs and all the information about how to get involved is on that page and the challenge kicks off next week if we just think about all the different ways in which we work with dogs from dog training to just being a general dog enthusiast to dog sports to maybe dog grooming Tom owns poodles there is grooming involved to maybe hydrotherapy physios Um, for us just general dog lovers Mm. really this encompasses so many different people what we would love you to do is share this podcast with Mm. someone that you know loves working with dogs or would love to work with dogs in some capacity or would maybe have this in their future horizons Mm. what we mean is someone passionate about dogs it really doesn't have to be anyone that specifically is in Mm. in training dogs it really can be anyone who loves dogs so with that guys head to the link it's absolute dogs dot me forward slash work with dogs we're excited about this Um, you can jump into the challenge and there'll be stuff going on in that Facebook group right now as we speak we'll be going live in there and and doing all kinds of fun things so jump in as you hear about it and we cannot wait for it to kick off now next week what we're going to be talking about in the podcast is we're going to be talking about dog hormones so with that you're not gonna want to miss that episode and it's gonna be happening next week in the meantime stay Stay sexy. sexy Hey, before you go, have you taken part in the worldwide Sexier Than a Squirrel Challenge? It's a 25-day online video programme, huge energy, amazing community, and over 6,000 people are already taking part. The only question is, you know where you are today, where do you want to be 25 days from now? Head to absolutedogs.me forward slash sexy.